So welcome to another Umaker Huxley printing video. What I'd like to do in this one is just demonstrate the printing process right from having an idea to having a printed part in your hand in a very short space of time. So what we're going to do for this particular exercise is have a look on Thingiverse which is a, a website where people with similar machines and uh, interesting ideas like to share designs and objects they've created. So we can look through and see the sort of things that people have made and designed. For example, a mighty bottle opener. There's the file available for download. Looks like a cool item. Download that to my PC and Let's have a go at printing it. So, the current software for the printer interface looks a bit like this. And I shall select the file which I've just downloaded. Which is this one here. The software goes away, processes, processes the file, slices it into layers and gets it ready to send to the printer. Which for this particular object isn't going to take very long. In the meantime we have the printer switched on, the heated bed is uh, warming up, in fact uh, has reached printing temperature. Filament has been loaded, ready to print. So as soon as the file is ready, I'll have a go at sending it to the printer. The actual script used to process the 3D model is a open source script script uh, package called Skyforge. So, processing the file took one minute one second. The file is ready and loaded. We can see the heated bed is up to temperature. So, we'll click on print. The machine will now go away and print the object. So first thing it does is it references itself to set home position and set itself to the right height relative to the build surface. Now the machine is ready to go, just waiting for the nozzle to get up to temperature. We can see the software there monitoring the nozzle temperature until it reaches the temperature required for printing. So just going up to 210 degrees Celsius, which we're about to reach right now, and off goes the machine. We can see the filament being laid down. So the first layer is printed slower than subsequent layers. This is to ensure good adhesion to the build surface with the first layer. It's worth taking a, a bit extra time on the first layer to make sure the print isn't ruined before it's really started. So a little bit further on for now, then but still four can either be his moving significant quid that was with the first layer and it's trying to the object. It's possible to print objects with three layers as a solid layer, but we only need to print our shell with the first three layers solid and the last three layers solid, and the interior of the part has to be more loosely filled matter structure. This actually gives the parts almost full strength 
with all that plastic. So Chris can use this too. Yeah, it's not the properties of the post differently. So it's nearly the print out the machine is this hard to read last recycled list of components. Oh yeah, got the file. Now it's uh, starting the last few slides earlier. It's pretty tall sides, down the top. Just let the filter is full, for any also, and the code will just pass the face of your defuse. So we've waited a little bit. The filter is just called the low 60 Celsius. Probably has to be a little bit longer than that, so I'd be happy to size. So, there we go. And, other oh, trick to see. Right, right. The ball was downloaded. Have we hit? Into the main hotly, instead of clicks. 